Hello my friends, today we will do a Photoshop tutorial and I will show you how to correct white balance to change an image like this into something like this. Again, this is not an edited photo, this is a raw image that the only thing I change from this image to this image is white balance. So if we go to the original image and I'll go into the library, you will see this is a raw file. And when I go to develop, you will see has absolutely zero adjustments. So this is the original image straight from the camera. I am going to send this image into Photoshop and we will correct the white balance. Now to send this image into Photoshop, I, uh, you can go to photo, edit in and just go to Photoshop 2022. The shortcut for this is Command E and that will automatically send the image into Photoshop. With the image open into Photoshop, before we do any kind of adjustments to correct the white balance, I want to explain to you what the blend mode difference do because we will be using the blend mode to correct our white balance. So I'm just going to duplicate this background layer, Command J to duplicate it. And if I change the blending mode from normal to different, our image becomes black. And that is because blend mode difference, it will only uh, show us pictures that are different between these two layers that are interacting with each other. So right now it's exactly the same image, so nothing is showing. If I take my move tool and then use my um, arrows to shift this top layer to the left, for example, we will start seeing some pixels because they're not completely overlapping anymore and these pixels are different because they are not overlapping 100%. If I move the image back, you will see it gets black again. So when you have blend mode difference and you see black, that means the pixels are completely the same on the top layer with the bottom layer. Great, now that we understand the blend mode difference, how do we use it to correct our white balance? Well, first we'll we have to get three points on this image. We need to find our white point, we have to find our black point, and then our 50% gray point. To do so, I will start by using over here into the adjustment layers, I will create a threshold adjustment layer. With the threshold adjustment layer, we have this uh, triangle over here. If we move it all the way to the left, we are showing nothing, but then as we slowly move it to the right, we are going to show our black uh, pixels. This is our darkest pixels on our image. If I go from the right to the left, I will show my brightest pixels on the image. This is our white point. So let's uh, go over here on the left side and we need under the eyedropper tool, you have the color sampler tool. So make sure you click on the color sampler tool, not the eyedropper tool. And with this tool selected, we will move over here and see which one is our black point. And by moving this to the right, I can see my black point could be somewhere in here. So I will just make a little click in there. And if I zoom in, you will see this puts a little sign with number one on it. Command zero to fit to screen. Great, now we have our black point. Let's find our white point. I'll move this triangle to the right and I will slowly move it to the left to get our white point. Now what is showing in white is our brightest pixels in the image. So I can see this part over here has a lot of white pixels, so I will click on it. And if I zoom in, you will see this puts the same little sign, but now it has number two on it. So we know on the sign with number one is our black point, the number two is our white point. Command zero to fit to screen. So we have the black and the white point. Now we need to find our gray point. I am going to disable this layer because we don't need it anymore. Our little signs with the number one and two, they're still on our image, even though we um, disabled that threshold layer, command zero to fit to screen. So you see we have white for the blacks, uh, one for the blacks and two for the whites. And now I will create a brand new layer over here. This is just a blank layer. And then I will go to edit, fill, and I will fill it with 50% gray. Click OK. Now we have a 50% gray layer. A shortcut to fill your layer with gray. Let me just delete this and create a new layer. The shortcut is shift delete and this will bring this fill dialog and then you can choose 50% gray or you know whatever 
one of these options, but in this case, we'll use the 50% gray. Click OK. So now we know this is 50% gray. We want to see which pixels in our image are the closest to 50% gray. To do so, we change the blending mode, remember, from normal to difference. And we know the pixels that are the same, it will turn black. So the pixels that are the closest to black over here is the ones that are the closest to our 50% gray. By looking around the image, we see we have blues, we have some browns, but the closest to black, they seem to be over here into this cloud. So I am going to zoom in and then I'll make a point over here, one of the darkest uh, points over there. And that is our sign with our number three. That's our gray point. Command zero to fit to screen again. So now I'm going to disable this gray layer as well. And we have our one, two, and three. This is our black point, our white point, and our gray point. How do we use it to create our white balance? Well, I am going to go over here into the adjustment layer and create a curve adjustment layer. Into the curve adjustment layer, we have three eyedroppers, a black eyedropper. You see the tip of this is black. We have the white eyedropper, the tip of it is white, and the one in the middle is our gray. If you are not familiar with curves and you usually use levels to edit your photos, you can use that for this. So if you go to adjustment layers and go to levels, you will see you have the same three eyedroppers. But for this example, I will just work with curves because that's what I normally use when I edit my images. So now I will take the first eyedropper, the one with the black tip, that's supposed to be our black point, and I will go and click right in the middle to our number one point that we set for black. Then I will go to the white eyedropper and I'll go into our number two uh, point that we set up for white and click on that and now we have our white point. And now the biggest change is going to be when we go to the gray point. Click on your uh, uh, gray eyedropper and where was it our there is our number three for the gray point click over there and there you go this is our correct white balance let's see this is our before and this is our after big big difference and since we are on curves on the rgb we can also you know increase the contrast a little bit just to make our image a little bit more interesting so this is our image before and after with only adjusting the white balance. This is such an easy way and very accurate way of adjusting your white balance. Now all, all we need to do is just right click on our layer, flatten the image and then go to file, close, make sure you save it. And this will send it back into Lightroom where we first started our edit. So this is our before, this is the after with only adjusting white balance, and then you can go in and do your rest of your adjustments and edits to create a stunning image. I hope this was helpful to you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing, and I'll see you in my next video.